Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to show you um, how to use J slider. So a slider is honestly exactly how it sounds. It's a little arrow which you can slide back and forth and it returns a value and uh, it returns a number. So we're going to use that. So first, um, to start off, if you're new, you'll notice that there's all this junk already written. Um, you could copy this and maybe you know what this means already and you're just trying to look for a quick tutorial or you could go back to tutorials and figure out what this means um, but I'm going to start from here so let's get started so last time we created two variables we had our label and we had our button so let's add a slider so the way we do that is we type private j slider slider now if you get a red line underneath this it's probably because you didn't import it up here like I have um, you'll notice it's javax.swing.j slider. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to construct our slider. So the way we do that is we do slider equals new j slider. And we're going to enter some arguments. We're going to enter two numbers. We're going to enter our max number and, we're, well, actually, we're going to enter our minimum number and our max number. So what that means is how far down our slider can go and how far up our slider can go. I can make the slider 0 and 10, I can make it negative 30 and a million, I can make the slider as big or as small as I'd like. But for the sakes of this tutorial, I'm just going to put 0 and 10. So it will only be able to go up to 10 and it will, the lowest level will be 0. So let's do 0 comma 10. And then we're going to add our slider to our GUI. So the way we do that is we obviously do add slider. And then we're going to set the bounds for our slider. Let's do it right below our label. So we do slider dot set bounds. And I already um, checked to see the sizing of the slider before starting. So I know the right coordinates to enter. So let's set x to be 15. So 15 comma 80 for y comma 210 comma 35 for the sizing so once we've done that we are going to make it so when we press our print button it prints the value of our slider so this is really simple it's just system out println um, and then slider dot get value so let's do that system dot out dot print oops my keyboard isn't really working println and then we do slider dot get value. So what this will say to Java is, I want you to print to the console the value of my slider. So if my slider was at 9, it would print to the console 9. Same if it was at 8, it would print 8, and so on and so forth. So let's save and check this out. So I'm going to run the program, bring my console up, bring this guy over here and check it out. So see if I print the first time the slider is at 5 by default so it's just gonna print 5. But I could slide it around here for example and get 3 or up here and get 10 or maybe over here and get 8. So let's try out something else. So let's add some text to our slider because right now it's just printing out numbers and that's not very interesting. So let's add two quotations and let's write the value of our slider is space plus slider dot get value. So what this will print out is, for example, if it was at 5, the value of our slider is 5 or 10. The value of our slider is 10. So let's run this. And I will drag up the console, bring this here, and it'll print out the value of our slider is 5. And I'll drag it over here, it'll do 10. I'll drag it down here, it'll do 0. I don't know what this one will be. 2, probably around like 8 or 9, probably 8. There you go. So just play around with this a little bit, have fun. Um, that is how you use the slider, the J slider in Java. It's pretty straightforward. You just slide it around. And, I don't know. You can use it to manipulate values. It's pretty sweet. Um, and that's pretty much it. Ooh, that was a nice voice crack.
um, and I will see you in the next tutorial. See ya!